Good evening. <clears throat> we welcome you to Pope St. John 23rd Catholic Church and especially to any visitors or newcomers to our parish. We welcome you to our community. Today is the fifth Sunday of Ordinary Time. The announcements for this week are funeral service for Lucy Sopaia, mother of Teresa Naufaho, will be Saturday, February 11th at 11 a.m. Baskets for old palms are in the south vestibule of the church. We want to announce the next Night of Columbus Paris Fellowship Breakfast is on Sunday, February 19th, after the 9.45 a.m. Mass. Also, the Knights will serve a Lenten meal every Friday after the Station of the Cross downstairs in the church hall. Please take a bulletin, bulletin home for more information. Our Mass today has been celebrated by Father Tuin. In today's reading, we learn the following lesson. Through the power of God, we can be a light to the world by our loving concern for others, especially the poor and the, oppr and the oppressed. Please join me praying the St. Michael prayer. This prayer has been said for the right to life as taught by our Catholic Church. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and the all evil spirits who prowl about the world for the ruin of souls, Amen. Please join me in praying the prayer for the intercession of Pope St. John 23rd. Almighty God, who in Pope St. John 23rd gave to the whole world the shining example of a good shepherd, grant through his intercession that with his same joy we may spread the of Christian charity. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in a unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. So let us pray together the prayer for the partners in the gospel. Gracious God, we praise and thank you for the Catholic Church in Western Washington. We praise and thank you for the women and men who have shared the joy of the gospel here for more than 170 years. Send your Holy Spirit upon us that we might encounter your Son new and become more effective partners in sharing the good news of his saving love. May our partnership in the gospel empower us to be your missionary disciples bringing the good news to all, especially to those who are marginalized or hurting in any ways. Give us the courage, the flexibility, and the vision to renew Paris life so that the good work begun long ago may continue among us and one day be brought to completion in your kingdom where you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Just a reminder to please turn off all cell phones during Mass. Now please rise and take a moment to greet your fellow parishioners. Oh, come and 
the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The peace of our world Lord be with you. I welcome all the catechumen and candidates, godparents and sponsors and those who support the OCIA program who gather here this afternoon to celebrate the rise of sending they have been with us and you have been praying for them. So we are going to send them to the right of election. They will meet with the bishop. They will enroll in the name and be elect. And so I welcome all of you here and continue with your journey. So at this time, Please join me to welcome everyone who gathered here with a big applause. Welcome everyone who's here. Trust in God's love and mercy. We ask God for mercy together. We say, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thought and in my word, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fall, through my fall, through my most greatly fall. Therefore, I ask as me a virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brother and sister, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our worst sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God, glory, glory to, God. to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you. Receive our prayer. 
Keep your family safe, O Lord, with unfailing care, that relying solidly on the hope of heavenly rest, they may be defended always by your protection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who live and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from Isaiah. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, share your bread with the hungry, shelter the oppressed and the homeless, clothe the naked when you see them, and do not turn your back on your own. Then your light shall break forth like the dawn, and your wound shall quickly be healed. Your vindication shall go before you, and the glory of the Lord shall be your rear guard. Then you shall call, and the Lord will answer. You shall cry for help, and he will say, Here I am. If you remove from your midst oppression, false accusation, and malicious speech, if you bestow your bread on the hungry and satisfy the afflicted, then light shall rise for you in the darkness, and the gloom shall become for you like midday. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Oh, 
shall be exalted in glory. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. When I came to you, brothers and sisters, proclaiming the mystery of God, I did not come with sublimity of words or of wisdom, for I resolved to know nothing while I was with you except Jesus Christ and him crucified. I came to you in weakness and fear and much trembling, and my message and my proclamation were not with persuasive words of wisdom, but with a demonstration of spirit and power, so that your faith might rest not on human wisdom, but on the power of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Thanks be to God. be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, you are the salt of the earth, but if salt lose its taste, with what can it be seasoned? It is no longer good for anything, but to be thrown out and tremble under foot. You are the light of the water. A city set on a mountain cannot be hidden, nor do they light a lamp and then put it under a bush so basket. It is set on a lampstand, where it gave light to all in the house. Just so, your lights must shine before authors, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your heavenly Father. The Gospel of the Lord. I welcome you all here to the fifth weekend of ordinary time. You amaze how the time flying. We just celebrate Christmas, New Year, and just the first, you know, week of ordinary time. And now already a fifth week of ordinary time. 
And yes, we gather here this afternoon with the catechumen and candidate sponsor, godparent, the catechist, that the one who with them on the journey, family, and deep faith community and parish of Pope St. John 23rd. We are journey together. We pray for them. And yes, if you come in this evening, you might see the outdoor and the landscape and the rounds of the parish. You also surprise how beautiful with the port on the G Street with the fence, new fence have been on and the volunteer have been working very hard and you all invited if you able to help and when we finish with the port on the G, I mean G street and then and then we're working on the 72 street and this side and then we'll be on the fourth side even though the fence is getting old but at least it provides the safety and we will replay with the new fence so this project is quite the taking long because we rely on volunteer. And yes, I appreciate many of you who not only financial support, but also come and help to put those together. And also many different projects that we have been working on. Keep the facility safe. Safety is very important for us. Thank God we have not had any incident to hurt anyone for New Year celebration or Christmas until this point. But being in the community, safety is important. And I encourage you that please help. And so we have the safety place so we able to be continue to have the events and able to gather to celebrate the sacrament and support one another. Today, we also hear in the scripture reading, the light that's shining through the darkness, the darkness of evil, of suffering, of all that the lights of Christ expelling. And just a few days ago that we gathered to celebrate the feast of presentation of the Lord, that after 40 days, after Christmas, the Lord was born. So Joseph and Mary brought that Jesus into the temple, presenting that to Simon and the one who gave the blessing on. Also, the tradition of the church, we celebrate to have the candlemen day and celebration. We bless upon all those candles using throughout the year on that day. The next day, we celebrate that on Friday, yesterday, the Feast of St. Place that blessing upon the thoughts of people during this time of flowing season. And yet through the intercessions of St. Place, Bishop and Martyr, may the Lord deliver from every disease of thoughts and every ill disease that in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit for those who come received those blessings yesterday. And some of the community want to have it today or the Sunday. But today we are here also celebrate that with the catechumen and candidates. And many of us remind back with the lights of Christ. You and I are the children of Christ and the children of the light. At the time when you and I baptize into the church, we receive the light of Christ from the Easter candle. The church handed to us, 
and ask us to give that light burning brightly and in the gospel we hear today. Be a light of Christ. Be the salt of the earth. And if the salt have been lose the taste, we cannot do any more seasoning it. Have to throw out on the roll can be trimble on it. But be the lights of Christ and don't let the lights of Christ burning like under bushel basket. But we have to put that lights of Christ on the standard so people see who we are, the goodness of each one of us. Sum up with all this that we celebrate on this feast and sending the catechumen and candidates out. They are with us on the journey. They are with us to learn about the faith, the tradition, the goodness, and they are on their journey. And you have those lights of Christ guiding them and also together with them on the journey. The catechumen, they will receive the sacrament of initiation at Easter vigil. They will be baptized. They will be confirmed. They will receive the sacrament of Eucharist around this altar. And the candidates for those who will join the church for full communion, they are already baptized in different denominations. They will make the profession of faith. They will be confirmed from the Holy Spirit and yet join us with communion of the Eucharist, that sacrament. And yet this is the day very special. We gather, we will send them to the bishop, and yet they will be celebrate the right of election among them. I find the catechumen, those teachers, those people with them on behalf of the parish, guiding them and listening to them and be a wonderful example for them on their journey. I also ask you, continue to be the light of Christ, the salt of the earth, to help these people who are already in trust and with us on this journey. Your example is very important. If you say one thing, you do different way, you not be kind and you not lovingly and you are not live the life of Christ, it's such no one want to be on the journey. So little bits I just want to share with you and thank you for a loud of your faith shining, a loud of your faith and the light of Christ shining and not be shameful and hiding those faith, those beliefs. And so at this time, I go ask the representative of this catechumen and candidate will present them to us and we will send them off. Reverend Father Tuin, these catechumens are beginning their final period of preparation and purification leading to their initiation. They have found strength in God's grace and support in our community's prayers and example. Now they asked that they be recognized for the progress they have made in their spiritual formation and that they receive the assurance of our blessings and prayers as they go forth to the rite of election, which will be celebrated March 12th by Bishop Elizondo at St. Charles Borromeo Church. Those catechumen who are to be sent to the celebration of election in Christ stand in play together with those who will be your godparents. Anais Sanchez, Victor Sanchez, Jose Sanchez, Clara Webster, Jaden James, Julian Gonzalez Rosas, Daniel Gonzalez Rosas, 
Teiolani Pua Vasa, Fanuloa Paulosa, Margaret Pua Vasa, and Fagatu Pua Vaga Vasa. Do you want them to come up here so you can see them? Or do you, I would like to ask the congregation, do you want it? Yes or no? So please come up here so everyone can see you, you know, and pray for you. Yeah. So just stand right up in front of the altar here. Yeah. Hui Joseph Tran, Tian Peter Lee, Chin Dominic Don, Tan Maria Din, Orepa Nielsen, Jalissa Rice, Tara Rice. And I also would like to make sure the godparents and the sponsor please come up to be with them. And yes, I'm sorry, all of the training and the practicing, it's important to make the celebration be more, you know, meaningful. And so uh, all of the sponsor, godparents, please be there and support them. My dear friends, these catechumen who have been preparing for the sacrament of initiation hope that they will be found ready to participate in the rites of election and be chosen in Christ for the Easter sacrament. It is the responsibility of this community to inquire about their readiness before they are presented to the bishop. So I ask the God's parent, I turn to you, God parent, for your testimony about these catechumen. Have these catechumen that they take their formation in the gospel and in the Catholic ways of life seriously. They have. Thank you for your testimony. So, have they given evidence of their conver conversion by the example of their life? They have. Do you judge them to be ready to be presented to the bishop for the rites of election? We do. My dear catechumen, this community classly recommend you to the bishop who in the name of Christ will call you to the Easter sacrament. May God bring to completion the goodness work have begun in you. Father Tuin, I now present to you the candidates who are beginning their final preparation for the sacraments of confirmation and Eucharist and those preparing for the reception of, into the full communion of the Catholic Church. They have found strength in God's grace and support in the community's prayers and example. Now they ask that they be recognized for the progress they have made in their spiritual formation and that they receive the assurance of our blessings and prayers. Those who are to be recognized, please be ready to come up together with your sponsor. Cindy Garrido, Anae Pastrana, Lucas Stewart. I announce to all of you here that our community support these candidates in their design for full communion with us. Therefore, I ask their sponsor to state their opinion once again so that all of you may hear. As God is your witness, do you consider these candidates ready to receive the sacrament of confirmation and Eucharist and be received into the full communion of the Catholic Church. We do. And now, my dear friends, I address you. Your own sponsor have spoken in your favor. The Church, in the name of Christ, 
accept their testimony and exhort you to live in deeper conformity to the life of Christ. So my brother and sister, I ask you all please stand up. So at this time we will offer our prayer to them and uh, to our community. My brother and sister, we look forward to celebrate at Easter the life-giving mystery of our Lord's suffering, death, and resurrection as we journey together to the Easter sacrament. This catechumen and candidates will look to us for an example of Christian renewal. Let us pray to the Lord for them and for ourselves, that we may be renewed by one another efforts and together come to share the joy of Easter. Who do the prayer of the faith? That these catechumens and candidates may be freed from selfish, selflessness and learn to put others first, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That their godparents and sponsors may be living examples of the gospel, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That their teachers may always convey to them the beauty of God's word, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Chúng ta cùng cầu xin Thiên Chúa cho các dự tòng, cùng chia sẻ với cộng đoàn dân Chúa niềm vui được làm con Chúa. Chúng ta cùng cầu xin Chúa. Xin, xin Chúa, Chúa nhận, nhận lời. lời chung con. Mùa chay sắp đến. Xin Chúa cho giáo sứ chúng ta chuẩn bị tâm hồn, tăng thêm lòng bác ái, hăng say cầu nguyện và yêu mến Chúa hơn. Chúng ta cùng cầu xin Chúa. Xin, xin Chúa, Chúa nhận lời, lời chúng, chúng con. con. Xin Chúa ban cho giáo hội luôn là khí cụ của sự tha thứ và lòng thương xót. Chúng ta cùng cầu xin Chúa. Xin Chúa nhắm lời chúng con. Father of love and power, it is your will to establish everything in Christ and to draw us into His all-embracing love. Guide this catechumen and candidate in the days and weeks ahead. Strengthen them in their vocation. Build them into the kingdom of your Son and seal them with the Spirit of your promise. We ask this through our Lord. Amen. My dear friends, this community now sends you for to reflect more deeply upon the Word of God which you have shared with us today. Be assured of your loving support and prayer for you. We look forward to the day when you will share fully in the Lord's table. Go in peace. We sing, let the word of God hang next. Are you here? Take the word of God with you as you go. Seeds of God's word and make them grow. Go in peace to serve the world. In peace to serve the world. Take the love of God, the love of God with you 
you for your support and we send them off. They continue to study the word of God and will join us after communion. Now we move forward with the Eucharist. So I ask you for your profession of faith. Do you believe God as the creator of heaven and earth? I, do you believe Jesus Christ redeemed earth through his death and resurrection? Do you believe in the Holy Spirit is the gift of new life and among and with us? As we profess our faith in the Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now we prepare to celebrate the Eucharist, preparation of the gift. Please be seated. <laughs> of life a cup of hope we come as gift to you bring our hearts fill us in peace transform our lives anew open our hearts so that we Open our eyes so 
that we might see your presence in one another. Your life poured out in love today, unites us. Pray now that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. O Lord, our God, who once established this created thing to sustain us in our fatherhood, Friends, we pray that they may become for us now the sacrament of eternal life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word, through whom you make all things, whom you send as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and bones of the virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for your holy people. He stretched out his hand as he endured his passion, so as to break the bones of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice, we acclaim um. <clears throat> holy 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 lord god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest blessed is he who comes in You are in this holy, O Lord, the fonts of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and flesh of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and enter willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this off of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciple, saying, Take this off of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory 
ออกมีเดิมมิสเตอรีออฟเฟซ When we eat this bread and drink this cup we proclaim your death O oh Lord until you come Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have helped us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ. We may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread through all the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Paul, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters. Who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the lights of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That's with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed Apostle. Pope Yan Saint John Twenty Third and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heir to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savo command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, "Our Father." Who are in heaven? Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord. We pray from every evil, races, leader, and peace in our world day that, by the help of Your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are Yours now and. Lord Jesus Christ, who say to your apostle, "Peace I leave you, my peace I give you." Look not on our words seen, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. 
letters of his author, the sign of peace and love. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter my group. But say the word, my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring me to everlasting life. The 
sacrifice on Calvary's tree is the reason I can cry out today. In my love, in my love, great and mighty creator of the world. In my love, in my love, my King. When I think upon your goodness, your faithfulness each day. I'm convinced it's not because I am worthy to receive the kind of love that you give. But I'm grateful for your mercy. And I'm grateful for your grace. to sing this song out in praise in my love in my love great and mighty creator of the world in my love in my love my King who am I to sing your praises? Who am I to worship you? It's your blood that makes the difference in me and made a way to enter into your throne. In my Great and mighty creator of the world, in my love, in my love, my O God, who have willed that we be partakers in the one bread and the one chalice, rent us, we pray, so to live that make one in Christ, we may joyfully bear fruit for the salvation of the world through Christ, our Lord. Amen. We congratulate all the catechumen and the candidates that your sponsor, your godparent, and the community pray for you and congratulate you. So may you have the period of learning and journey little bit and in more, and you will be at the right of the election. And uh, thank you for taking time and learning more about our faith during the time of transition, difficult with our own faith community and parish, but you still want to be journey with us during the challenging time and know how much God always with us and helping us be the light of Christ like we hear in the scripture today. Be the salt of the earth to share the kindness and the goodness of God's blessing. So the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Blessed are the poor in spirit, longing for the Lord. For God's coming kingdom shall be theirs. Blessed are the sorrowing, for they shall be consoled. And the meek shall come to rule the world. Are they whose hunger only holiness can fill? For a saint they shall be satisfied.